Yo, we're back with the Saints franchise. We're here in week number six, which is the bye. We're also going to do week seven, of course, with uh, Seattle. But uh, if you guys are excited, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. We're going to go ahead and jump into this prospect spotlight here. They're going to try to tell me who to draft, and uh, we're probably not going to listen to them. Perry on Winfrey. No, thank you. Now we're going to view this message with the bye week. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we, I like to do the resting. It's a rest and relaxation. Treat, treat my guys after that last game. Especially since injuries are on. We don't want to get guys hurt. Uh, who's ready to negotiate now? We're still not. What what week is the trade deadline in the NFL? Is it week eight? So it's after week eight. Uh, we will be trading Toronto Armstead before the trade deadline in order to free up some cap. Uh, try to get a, a cheaper, younger left tackle. Maybe one that has a, a good dev trait. Uh, Quan Alexander. We've got Deontay Harris as somebody that we might want to bring back. I think we might start a negotiation with Deontay here. He's only 23 years old. Uh, let's just do this and this. And he wants to stay perfect. So we got Deontay locked up. Traquan Smith, not really interested in keeping him around. Still thinking about Quan and PJ. But uh, that's it for them for now. We're going to go ahead and do our weekly our weekly training for the bye week. We're going to do our bye week upgrades here. And then we're going to look at some of the standings. And some. I'll get Andre Sisco getting his first upgrade with the squad. We're going to look at the standings. We're going to look at the uh, stats, leaders, and stuff. So look at the standings here. In our division right now, we are sitting at three and two, but the Falcons are five and one. I don't, <laughs> what is happening there? Very, very weird. Their defense is only giving up 87 points. The Buccaneers are two and three. This is also weird. If we go to the NFC standings in general, we'll see right now that we are actually sitting at four. So we would be the four seed the playoffs started today. We of course have, uh, Plenty of time for that to change. And look at our stats here. Ian Book, man, he's got 1,400 yards. Completion percentage is 75%, but he is only 11 and 8 touchdown to interception ratio. Got to work on that. Rushing Camara has 458 yards on 107 attempts. Just an absolute workhorse. The next highest carry count is 16. Leading receiver is Jawan Johnson in terms of yards. Camara has the most touches, of course. The touchdown leader is John Ross, our free agent addition before the season. Tackle leader, of course, is Demario Davis. That surprises nobody. Our tackle for loss is Cam Jordan with seven. Sack leader is going to be Cam Jordan with four and a half. We only have three interceptions on the year, but it's Marshawn and Marcus Williams for us here. And then our kicker is nine for ten. He, the only one that he missed was a uh, game-winning field goal to save our season from falling apart against New England. You hate to see it. I'm going to look and see if we have any of the top seven or eight here on this first screen. What is that? Seven? So we're going to try to see if we have anybody in the top seven of anything here. Not in passing yards. Touchdowns. Ian Book is right here at number seven with 11 touchdowns. He's probably going to be high in the completion percentage. He's right there with Tom Brady. That's right. Ian Book is the next Tom Brady. You heard it here first. Rushing leaders. Kamara is only number seven despite having some massive games. Uh, he doesn't even have that many. He's third in carries. Derrick Henry is just getting abused. Touchdown leader is, of course, Saquon. He had like tw eight of those against us. We're not going to have any receiving yards leaders. We might have a touchdown with John Ross. No, he's not up there either. Defensively, the only thing we might have for defense would be tackles for loss with Cam Jordan. No, what about sacks? So they're just going to they're going to forget that Cam Jordan is actually on the list. So he's definitely up here. But they're going to forget that he's there. And then same thing with interceptions. They probably won't have others. Oh, Marcus Williams. And then our kicker is the best. He is the best kicker. He's just, uh, you know, missed the most important one of the season. It's fine. I'm not salty. Uh, team stat wise, we're 18th in yards. Second in defensive yards. 12th in points. 19th in points allowed. Interesting. Any, any weekly awards that we've had for the NFC? We did not. We have not gotten anything. We're going to head and advance through this bye week here and uh, jump into week number seven. Okay. The Falcons had a bye week too, so we didn't even get a chance to catch them in the standings with a loss. So we're going to have a, we have a free agent fit for the GM meeting. What does he want? Who does he want us to go after? Uh, if we have to improve something, it would be offense. <laughs> Larry Fitzgerald? Oh my God. We don't want any of these guys. What are the defensive options? Troy Hill and Brandon Carr? No, I don't. Can I Can I say no? Oh my goodness. Fine. Troy Hill. We're not signing Troy Hill. We're not signing him. Useless conversation. And do a weekly strat. The Seahawks are two and four. That's interesting. Let's see if we got any important upgrades here. Oh, we got some good ones here. We got Eric McCoy. Getting Eric McCoy up there to help us out is going to be huge when we end up having to trade Teron Armstead. Got Bradley Roby. 
Got a little Jordan Humphrey getting an upgrade here at tight end. Love that for him. Plus one speed? Nope. And then Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. One of my, if not my favorite player on the team. He's one of them. Oh, plus one speed. Very nice. 91 speed for Chauncey. Uh, so we should be good to go here. We're going to go ahead and jump into this game against 2-4 and four Seattle. I feel like they're better than the two and four, so this might be a tough one. But let's uh, let's go in there and try to smoke this team and, and and keep up with the Falcons. I say that every video, but why are the Falcons undefeated? I don't get it. Let's go. This is a Monday night football too. Ian Ian books a Monday night debut in Seattle, one of the worst places to play for your Monday night debut. And we fumble the opening kickoff for a touchdown. That's a great start, John Ross. Love that. Well, that was the worst start in the history of life. Let's try not to have that happen again. I've never been stripped on a kickoff before. I've been hit staked on a kickoff, obviously, but I've never been stripped. That That is not a good start. We are down seven to zero in nine seconds. And they do have Jamal Adams, who was downgraded to a superstar, but DK Metcalf has been upgraded to uh, X Factor. So they got some players on this team. Now, if I didn't have Ian Book, I would try to make that Russell Wilson trade in the offseason, but the whole goal of this series is to make Ian Book great, so we're not going to do that. Oh, my. Oh, Ian. Oh, my God. He's nervous. He shook on Monday night, dude. He shook. This is a terrible start. Gillikin's the best punter in the NFL, though. Let's see if he can pin this one. Excellent. Excellent punt. That was a lot of backspin, but that was still a good punt. Well, now we have to play defense. I mean, I cannot believe that we are down 7-0 to zero right now. That's jokes. Pick! Shout out to the comment section for letting me know that Marshawn was supposed to have Superstar because all of a sudden he's goaded. And just like that, we're still alive in this game, bro. We're still alive. Because you all saw the Giants game. It gets ugly. It gets ugly real quick. And why... why Oh, I was going to say, why is there an exclamation point? But it's for the defense. Okay, I get it. I get it now. That was a great tackle by Bobby Wags. Washington just scored two points against the Packers, bro. Go ahead, Juwan. We got to get an end zone, man. Andrews Pete is hurt again. Hand it off to Kamara. Ooh, Jamal's hitting me really hard. I don't like that. Bruised shoulder. We'll leave him out for now. Second and goal. We really would like to find the end zone on this drive. I mean, we've been gifted a free possession. Man, this is it's a lot harder to run against a good team than it was against Washington. No offense. Oh, Bobby Wagner is so good. God, dude, a field goal again. We settle for so many field goals. All right, boys. Let's try to get off the field again, man. We've been playing great defense the last two games. Cam Jordan is a machine. And Seattle has a bad offensive line, and Cam Jordan, we need you to take advantage of that for us. Good. Bro, Cam's on smoke right now. We might have to make an adjustment to the pass rush. These, I haven't changed it since, like, the Giants video, so I'm not sure why he's getting so many sacks all of a sudden, but it's, like, he's outrageous right now. But we did play two terrible offensive lines back-to-back, -back, so that could be why. Good job, Deontay. Earn that new contract, buddy. Seahawks fans are stressed right now. They thought this was going to be a blowout after that fumble and the three and out. On the next drive. It's not that easy around here against New Orleans. Unless you're the Giants, of course. Oh, great route, Michael. Oh, bad throw. That was a great route and a bad throw. Good job, Alvin. Just needed one yard. Just needed one. Try to run to the outside. Is that a face mask, please? Oh, tear on, dude. You cannot be... This is why you're getting traded, bro. Go ahead, Andrew. Speak a block. Welcome back from your injury, bud. This is going to be a tough game, man. Seattle's good. Compared to Washington. Ooh. Seattle has an underrated defense. Like, there's no real star power there besides Bobby Wagner, obviously. Uh, you, could, you could say Jamal Adams when he's in the right role. But outside of those two, they're they're 
pretty weak, and they still play really, really hard. So, in real life, I'm talking about. We finally got rid of the wiggly play art. Nine rushes for 21 yards. Huge difference from last week. Go ahead, Mark Ingram. He doesn't touch the ball much in this in this league. I'm actually going to move Alvin over here because I might roll out to the right. Oh, this is boxed. That got clamped. Holy smokes. Good defense. Another field goal. Good job, Will. Mr. Automatic, unless it's iced. Atlanta just beat Miami 38-5. to What is going on in Atlanta, bro? The Bengals are six and one. Wow, I'm just I'm just now noticing some of these things at the bottom. Like, damn, six and one. Let's go, Bengals. This is probably gonna be a run here, man. Who made that play? Demario Davis is so good, bro. Saints defense is playing really well. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I I, I do think these last two games, I think the sliders have been much better. But, uh, I mean, y'all let me know what you think in the comments. You guys, you know, control this whole thing. I want you guys to enjoy what you're watching, so. The sack count has been a little high the last two games, but it does help negate the uh, high completion percentage. I may need to up the pass rush for the defense, though, because I'm kind of just chilling in the pocket. We're only 7 for 11 for a 75% completion team like us is really bad. Oh my god. Dude, oh, uh, nothing is getting open unless I'm just blind. Oh, he called PA crossers. That's a guaranteed yards. Sean Payton. Unless Ian Book throws it to the other team. Ian Book's going to give me an aneurysm, dude. He really is. Cam Jordan's lit up over there. Needs you to be great, Cam. Keep being great. Mm, good knockout, Pete. That's, that's DK. That's a good play. Oh, they ran a toss? Good job, Cisco. I feel like Andre Cisco has been involved in more big plays than Malcolm Jenkins was. That's for damn sure. That was a good trade we made. Good. Russell Wilson's getting, getting those happy feet back there, man. He's shook. Oh, I tried to get it outside. 10 for 25 is, is, a, is a struggle bus in the run game right now. We're in the middle of another defensive showdown here. Back-to-back -back games after we after it was like an offensive explosion against the Giants. Good play. 65 yards for Ian, but that pick was awful, man. That was such an open receiver. You got to make those throws, Ian. I want you to be great, but you got to help me. Good little jet pass play there. When teams blitz, a jet touch pass usually does well. God, man, their run D is good right now. Not a huge fan of this play design, but let's just see what happens here. Oh, my. I'm struggling. They, they sent an all-out blitz right there. That was a good play call. Not much we can do about that. Good punt. Down at the six. Come on, defense. Keep carrying us, man. Just like just like the real life Saints, dude. We need the defense. Oh my god. Good hit, Marcus. Earned that money. They might just run this clock out. I'm not sure how aggressive they're gonna be. Oh, they're gonna pass. Oh, right over his head, Demario jump, buddy. Pick! Marshawn again! Stop testing them. Marshawn Lattimore is going crazy in the last two games. This place got real quiet, Seattle. What's going on? Come on, boys. Oh, good route. Is that Tyler Lockett? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm on cam. Oh, no. Good defense, Marcus Williams. Russell Wilson won't stay in the pocket, man. He's really antsy back there. If he would just sit in the pocket, he'd probably be doing a little bit better. Like, he rolled out to the right when all his routes were going left. And he just rolled out right into the... Dude, Russell Wilson is playing terrible right now. This got nothing to do with sliders. This man just won't throw the ball when people are open. 
Ooh, Sean Payton wants to be aggressive. I like that. Let's go, Sean. Ian. Mm, Ian Book. Ian Book. I might not like the aggressiveness anymore because this might be a pick six. Oh, Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas. Good job. Oh, Michael Thomas was so open, bro. In my God, Camara, don't run up. That was a bad, bad, dis that was a whole bunch of bad by me right there. But if Camara would have just stayed where he was, we would have got bailed out. I see a Superman press over here on Deontay Harris. Can he burn that guy? Nope. Oh my, Bobby Wagner is on my ass on these, on these throws in the middle of the field. MT, what? What on earth is going on in this game with the quarterbacks, dude? Let's go, Blake. Pin him again. Mmm, good tackle, Ken. All right, so a super defensive half there, man. We got seven points by each. The only touchdowns in the entire game are on defense for both sides. Run some man coverage here. Oh, my. Who was man was that? Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, you got destroyed. This might be a run here. Oh, I went for the... Good job, Cisco. I went for the for the sweep, and I guessed wrong. Oh, good run. We're letting him get into a little bit of a rhythm right now, which we don't want. Oh, no! Davenport missed the tackle. Yeah, they're starting to settle in now, man. We gotta play some defense here, boys. Gonna drop back to pass. They're going to throw it to Chauncey, who doesn't make a play on the ball. Second and ten. Russell Wilson's going to make a read. Short pass. Lattimore's all over the fullback. Good play. Marshawn Lattimore is making a case for Defensive Player of the Year here early on in the season. Now that he has got his at damn acrobat. Oh, that's wide open. Cisco misses the tackle. And Seattle's going to take the lead in the third quarter. Oh, it's okay, man. Cisco, he's 21 years old. He's got learning to do. All right, so the first offensive touchdown of the game puts us down by one point here. Early third quarter. Slant man strikes again. Right, they've loaded the box a little bit here, but we're still going to hand it off to Kamara and try to get this one yard. We should have got it. 14 rushes, 42 yards. This is a big moment for Ian Book, man. This is a tough environment. A lot of adversity in this game. His, his, his running back just fell down on the screen, and we fumbled for another seven points. Okay. Alvin Kamara ran the screen pass. He tripped up, fell down. Ian Book tried to throw the ball away and fumbled. All of a sudden, they're down by eight points. You hate to see it. Tony Jones on first down, gives us five yards. All of a sudden, this is not good. We, we are in a lot of pressure to put the ball in the end zone now. Just a slew of turnovers in this game. Inaccurate pick, kickoff, return, fumble, quarterback strip sack. It has not been pretty. Sean Payton wants to run a terrible, terrible play call on third and two. This is an awful play call, dude. I'm just going to chuck it, and it's picked. Oh my god, dude. That was a bad decision. That was a bad decision. He had a step, sort of, but we were th throwing on the run cross body. And uh, this is what's the booth review for? It was obviously an interception. What are they reviewing? It's up. I'm not really sure what they reviewed. I'm really not, but whatever. Good defense. We got it. Dude, if they get any more than three points right here, we're in big trouble. Cisco misses another tackle, but Davenport's there to clean up. This is a huge play in the game right here, a third and three. I think it's a run. It definitely is a run, and did they get it? They gave him a first down right there. I'm about to review the spot of the ball right here. I don't know if challenge is even working this game. But I feel like that call was BS. No, I was wrong. <laughs> Just lost the timeout. I thought his knee was down. It wasn't. Good tackle, Demario. We got to hold him to three points, man. There's plenty of time in the game, but they cannot score a touchdown. Oh, Bradley Roby. I'm shaded underneath. Why are we not getting in front of the receiver, man? Come on now. 
Good play, Quan. He broke the tackle, but you still slowed him down. Good stuff. Dude, these holes. These are the Saquon Barkley holes. We got to stop the run, man. Come on. We gave up like two rushing yards last week. Come on, D. Oh, my God. Why am I clicking on back there? Good tackle by Chauncey right there. They're in a shotgun formation, but I think this is a run, so we're going to come out and goal line. Try to blow that up. Yes, sir. Good play. Cam Jordan again. This has got to be a stop. Come on, boys. Cam Jordan, this is all you, man. That was open, but he missed it. They're going to settle for three. That was our only hope of staying alive in this game. Look at the total yards. Neither team has more than 150 yards in the game. And it's 24 to 13. That's crazy. Oh my god, Jawan. That was a great play by Jamal Adams, but we gotta we gotta catch those. Catch this one, please. Thank you. 12 for 24. Ian Book is having a miserable time in Seattle right now. I'm trying to keep him honest by running the ball, but might have to just stop doing that. Go ahead, John Ross. Be fast. Bobby Wagner should not be shoestring tackling you. Come on, man. Be faster. So we got rid of the shaky screen. It's always priority number one in these situations. Mark Ingram is open. Runs out of bounds. Okay. Could have had a lot more yards there. They're going to run man coverage on John Ross. It's not going to happen, bro. It's not going to happen. We're not moving the ball fast enough, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm trying to keep him honest in the run game. Also, the pass plays that Sean Payton is calling are not good. But we have got to score faster than this. Good throw to Alvin there. Picking up yards, just not very fast. We have to run the ball here. They're not calling any pass plays. Sean Payton's questionable with his play calling right now. It's a good run, though. Good job. Okay, we got to get in the end zone, man. Guys, the Falcons are about to go 17-0, so we have to... We have to win these games. Squeeze it! That's a that's a dot from Ian Book. Deontay Harris, come on. We are going to go for two here. We're going to run it with Alvin Kamara. I'm not too confident in this play decision because I just ran it right into Browby Wagner. Oh, my gosh. I think it opened up. And I missed the hole. Oh, my gosh. Cisco saved us from a big play right there, but we got a bit. We have to have better run D, dude. 74 yards is unacceptable. Good job. Cam Jordan, man. Three more sacks in this game. He's definitely going to lead the league after this. Come on, come on, come on. This is a big, big, big set of downs here, man. This is honestly the game. First down is game. Pretty easily. Gave up six there. It's okay. Third and 11. This is literally the game. They run a play before. Oh, it's... I mm, I followed the drag and left the curl. I mm, I should have let, let the drag go. It probably wouldn't have been a first down. Damn it. This is a good play. I mean, we're loading the box. So I can't do anything else. 14 carries, 89 yards. We can't give up any more first downs. That was that was the last one we can afford. We only have two timeouts. Good tackle. Oh, make a play, make a play, make a play. Thought he was going to get a lot of yards when he cut back right there. You guys think they'll pass here? I kind of do. I'm going to be ready for a pass. They do pass. A lot of stuff is going to be open. He cut. What a play by Chris Carson. That was going to get blown up, and he set up the perfect block. I can't believe that just happened. I'm not sure if I've ever seen the AI make a play like that. That should have... Oh, my gosh. And turnovers killed us again. We only lose games when we turn the ball over. It's that simple. You can't fumble three to two times and throw two picks and win the game on Monday night on the road. You can't do it. Ian Book was pretty terrible. 17 for 29, 160, a touchdown, two picks. Kamara couldn't get anything going on the ground. 19 for 64. Kamara was good out of the backfield, or uh, receiving. And then defensively, I mean, they, we, they played their heart out. Cisco had seven tackles. Good for him. Uh, Cam Jordan is going crazy. Marshawn. Uh, I just, we have to play better. We, we have to play, protect the ball better. 
So I got disconnected from the server after the game was done and it didn't save that. I'm actually really irritated. I can't stand this company. I don't understand how the game is done and it doesn't save the game. It doesn't make sense to me, but uh, I'm not going to play it again. So we're just going to advance to the next week and see what happens. I mean, I would prefer if we lose because I don't want to get a free win after we just got stomped like that. It's very frustrating. This, this goddamn game, dude, I can't stand it. Okay, well, okay, we lost. So I, I feel better about that at least. But yeah, it's really annoying. But if you guys enjoyed that game, man, smash the like button, subscribe. We'll catch you guys in week number eight. Big game against Tampa Bay, who has now jumped us in the standings. So we'll see you there. Peace.